Hello everyone, in today's video we will fix the Logitech MX Master 3S Bolt Receiver not working. So to fix this problem, you can follow this step. The step 1 is to check the basic connection and power. Here you can verify that the MX Master 3S is turned on by simply using the switch button in the bottom of your mouse. Here you will see. Make sure that it will turn on. Okay, if it turns off, you can simply toggle it upside to turn it on. The next step is to you can inspect the bolt receiver. Ensure the bolt receiver is securely plugged into a USB port or you can try a different USB port. Prefer the 2.0 as a 3.0 port. It can sometimes cause the interference. The next step, you can simply restart and reconnect your PC. So restarting your PC to reset USB port receiver and the driver, which can resolve many temporary glitches problem. Here, you can simply restart your device. I simply open the power window, press on power, and then simply click on restart. Okay, the next step is to you can simply power cycle the mouse. So, turn the mouse off by simple toggle off this button. Then, after remove the logic bolt receiver and then wait for 30 seconds. After completing the 30 seconds, you can simply turn the mouse on and also connect the logic bolt receiver and then check that it will connect or not. Okay, the next step is to repair the mouse with the logic bolt receiver. So you can open the Logi Option Plus software. Once you open this software, you can simply firstly tap on Add Device, tap on the bolt receiver. Then long press the power the switch button to turn on the pairing mode. Then after it will find the MX Master 3S. Then tap on it. And now here you can do the verification. So click right button, right, left. After that, you will see a confirmation message that your MX Master 3S device is successfully connected. Then you can simply tap on setup device. Now here you can customize the button. Okay. The next step is to update driver and software. So sometimes the outdated software can cause this kind of problem. So here you can go to the settings. And then after here you will see at top check for update. Tap on it to check for a new version. If available, you can download it. Right now you will see there is no update available and my system is up to date. Okay, so these are the steps that can help you to fix this problem. Goodbye.